Make this. Hello, Charlie. Finally got something concrete. Yes, mate. I do look inside. I have proof he killed us with okay, it. We've been entertaining a little theory for some time now, but uh, this is not up your gun. Just look inside. <laughs> Shoelaces? No. Where's the motherfucking time? Hello, I'm Dermot Coates, and welcome to True Crime Examiner. Today we're once again returning to the ongoing spree of the Blood Knot Butcher, the now infamous serial killer who has left his seven victims with a shoelace around their finger. With no leads, the police are left to stand by and wait for the next gruesome silent film to be released. That day may be coming soon, since as we learn more, it looks like these killings are scheduled. Today, we're joined with Police Constable David Murphy, an officer involved with the case. Thanks for having me, Dermot. I'm just here today to make sure the public and the crime fanatics out there know that the police have this situation under total control. As of right now, we have no other reason to assume that all these killings are connected, but we you know, recommend the public come forward. But I brought my own camera and shoelaces. Let's go. You know, why is it always shoelaces? Feels like a bit of a waste to me. It's his calling card, it's iconic. I don't know. Feels like some weird obsessive compulsive thing. Lie down. Yes, yeah, I got we have bin bags. Yeah, it's pretty damp outside. You know, I can't believe the police didn't believe you. I believe you, Charlie. I got this shot. You know, I bet they're in on it. Hmm? I mean, all this time and nothing? But we've been doing all the work. It doesn't make any sense. You know what? We've been going about this wrong. You know, trying to retrace their steps. We need to get more creative. We need to try and predict what they're going to do next. You know, to get into the mind of this freak, we should really try retracing your steps. You know what? You're right. Yeah, we should do that. You got to be the victim for this one, though. You know, if I were a victim, I'd be feeling pretty panicked, confused. Helpless. I mean, I wouldn't know what was happening or why it was happening to me. No, you'd be so in denial. Like, you just pretend that you didn't see anything or that, you know, you were anywhere else. Wouldn't you, Charlie?
pretend you didn't see anything. It'll ruin the mystery. Thank you.